During day two of tournament competition, anglers are allowed to use only Berkeley baits to catch their bass, a wrinkle that was first introduced to this event just a few years ago. Day two of this tournament the past several years has yielded the overall winning fish. White buzz bait, Berkeley toad on the back, just looking for a big bite right now. That's all we need, just one big bite. So in the mornings we've been throwing a, a Chapo and a, a Jay Walker by Berkeley, and then in the afternoons we've been switching to a, a football jig with a chigger crawl on the back and throwing a, a Magnum hit worm on a shaky head and just dragging it around. Being that this tournament is in the fall of the year, topwater baits are a go-to for many anglers out on Kentucky Lake this weekend. Berkeley also offers an extensive line of soft plastics that are ideal for slowing down or finessing finicky fish in deeper waters. So this is Berkeley's flatworm here. I'm going to be putting on a drop shot. Um, you know, I'm going to probably just work the bottom of that tree a little bit. I had that little butchered uh, Berkeley the deal and tried to go over the top, but that wasn't really working out for me. So I'm going to just take a different approach and work the bottom of this tree. We go back now to Levi and Matthew from Bethel University as Matthew is hooked up on a double while throwing the Berkeley Stunna jerkbait. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> what are the... <laughs> that is wild. So, We've caught a few fish on top water at least every morning. And so far this morning, we hadn't even took a bite. So I pulled out the uh, Berkeley Stunna, the jerk bait, and threw it, what, two or three casts mm -hmm. on a double. Uh, I ain't never done that out here before. I've only done it probably once or twice in my life. Um, so that was pretty cool, exciting. They were both shorts though, so. Don't get to keep either of them, but it's worth it. It's a cool, cool thing to, to do every now and then.